Okay, so all you're going to do now is click on my actually you know what first let's check your email that's going to be the most important as well let's let's integrate your email so click on my integrations to the left right there down my integrations and Kartra, yeah right there Kartra mail so that right there Kartra mail you got to click on those three dots this is the most important because do you see right there the first one right there down the check mark the green check mark Kartra mail click on those three oh. dots So the most important when it comes to all of this stuff is 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 obviously I mean Kartra is is mainly a it, Kartra does all kinds of things but when it when it really boils down to it the most important thing about Kartra is the landing pages, the email automation and the calendar, like those are the three main main features that I use inside of Kartra. Other things too, the membership you know of course because if you're building you know I'm building a membership course so uh, you know I use that most importantly as well but for most people it's the landing page the email automation and the calendar and so before you even work on that you always want to integrate your email because this cannot be the Kartra email this cannot be a gmail or a yahoo that has to be your business email so you want to have a business email you're going to need to have a business email so do you have the um the the royal media marketing do you have that set up as an email I believe I do. It's, uh, can we check that somehow? Well, you're going to have to check. You're going to have to email yourself or um, you could test it that way. Info at Royal Media. I think it's info at royalmedia.com. Yes, that's Send from email and reply to email. That's where your Royal Media email goes. This email, my email? No, no, yeah, you, no, no, above, send from, reply to, those two email spots right there, send from, reply to, right there, bro, send from, reply, yeah, right there, so that's where your, your business email goes, so if you have one, like info at, yeah, like something like that, it has to be a business email, yeah, royal media, perfect. Same email here, right? Yep. Yeah, so this is this is the first thing you want to do. You know, when you start a Kartra account, like this is the first thing you want to do. Um, I have mine set up through GoDaddy. So wherever you get your domain from, just whatever your custom domain is, make sure you have an email for that as well. And then just and then just bring that over here. That way, every email that goes out. So as people start to come into your funnels, as people go to your landing page and start downloading your stuff, or as people go to your calendar, and, and, and they receive that booking confirmation email or the, or the reminder email, that email has to come from your email. So that's why this is the most important. So go ahead and send a test, send a test. All right, before I test, before I send a test, can I, can I just go into this email and check it? Because I don't really remember the last time when I- Yeah, for I sure, it. check it. Click on I think this is Gmail, man. Like this is in, Info at Royal 2020. I think I, I, I can log in through Gmail to that. Okay, so then send a test. Go ahead and send test. Okay, now check your Gmail. You always have to hit the green button. Never X out. Always hit the green button if you see a green button. So um, hit the edit right there. And then, and then you can X out. Then you can close. So now it's saved. Perfect. So now refresh this page. Perfect. I guess you can see my screen, right? Yeah, I can see it. So there it is there. So now the email is updated. Perfect. So now that email is going to be tied to everything you do, all your email sequences, all the um, booking confirmation emails that go out through the calendar, all of your reminder emails that go out through the calendar. So when people receive your email, they'll reply and they'll be, they'll be replying to that email. So that's the first thing you want to do before anything. So that's that's good job right there. So now Let's go to our calendars. So click on my calendar and let's set up your calendar real quick. Okay, right here. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is click the green one.
And, and you know what? Before we do this, before we do this, let's back up real quick. Hit cancel. We're going to integrate one other thing. What I do and what, what you're always going to want to do, what, what is just good, you know, good to do for everyone, is to integrate it with your Gmail. So if you use Gmail, now people that use Yahoo, then, then I don't, I mean, it's not really for people that use Yahoo. If you, if you use Gmail, if you use Gmail, most likely you also use the Google Calendar. And if you don't use the Google Calendar, you're going to start using the Google Calendar. Um, so go to your Gmail real quick. Pull up your Gmail. That tab at the top right there, the tab, the one, zoom in one hour. You already have it open. Zoom in one hour, the tab. So click on the dots to the right. In the top right, click on that. Click on that. Open that tab. So the dots okay. to the right. No, no, no. The, the square next to the letter B. Down. No, 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 no. Down. Little down. Get out of there. Down. Right there. The square. The dots. Right there. Click on that and go to calendar. This right here is what you want to bookmark. And these, your bookmarks that you have up there, if you're not using any of those, try to clear out some of those because you're going to want to bookmark your calendar for sure. To, and you want it to be up there somewhere. So, yeah, you got all them bookmarks. Like, if you use all those, then cool. But if you don't use any of those, like, try to delete the ones that you don't use because it's just it's too much clutter. Because you want you want this to be up on the bookmark. You always want your Google Calendar. So this is your Google Calendar. Bookmark this page. No, get out of here. X out of that. X out. Just bookmark this because you're going to start using your Google Calendar. And, it, and it's not really... Just hit the star at the top. Hit the star at the top to the right, up, up, up to the right. The star, that star, up, 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 the star. Oh, the star, bro. Right at the top, up, right there, that star. There you go. And then just name it Google Calendar. But see, you put it in the ads manager. That's why you got to, that's why a lot of you, when you bookmark shit, make sure you know where it's at, bro. Like you put this in the ads manager folder. So, so don't put it there. Um, Try to drag it to the top, you know, so you can always, you know, you can always know where it's at. You can always have access to it. And the reason for it, yeah, put it like right there. Perfect. The reason why this is so important is because you want to have this, you want to have also the app on your phone. So, so on your cell phone, download the Google Calendar app and, and, and make sure you're logged in with this email. Okay, so hit, hit, hit the letter B right there to the top, to the, to the right, hit the letter B. Make sure you're logged into that email. So that's the email that the calendar is on. I know you have two different e Gmails, right? Is that the right one that you're going to be? Is that yes. where your emails go to that 1805? Yes, yes. Okay. So the reason why this Google calendar is so important is because with Kartra, let's go back to Kartra. With Kartra, you're going to be able to book appointments through this calendar. And when you book appointments through the Kartra calendar, the lead gets a booking confirmation the lead gets an email reminder one hour before the call, right? The lead gets notified, but you, you only get a notification when that booking is scheduled. So if you book an appointment right now, or, or if someone goes to your calendar, if I go to your calendar, if I go to your calendar right now and I schedule Tuesday at 4 p.m., you're going to get a notification, but that's one time. That's a one notification. You're not going to get another notification when the call comes up. So Tuesday at 4 p.m., five minutes before the call, you're not going to get a notification. But when you when you use Google Calendar, Google Calendar, they give you a notification. So I book through my Kartra calendar, but I really manage everything through my Google Calendar. Because again, on my Google Calendar, I'm notified when that next appointment is coming up. With, with Kartra, all I can do is come in here and click on Agenda right there at the top. And I'll see a list of all my appointments. Watch, let me let me share my screen. Stop share. Come back to my screen real quick. So let me know if you can see it. I can. Okay. So on my on my calendar, I click on agenda right here at the top. I can see a list of all my appointments. So from today, tomorrow, I can see a list of all my appointments, right? But this is all I can see. I'm not going to get a notification. So on the 11th, when I have an appointment on the 11th at 12 p.m. with Dan, I'm not going to get that notification. But I get it if it's Google. I get it on Google Calendar. So what I do is I just simply integrate it. I integrate my Google Calendar with Kartra. So whenever anyone – so for example, now let me go to my Google Calendar. 
So whenever anyone books on my Kartra calendar, it reflects on my Google calendar. So look, when I'm working throughout the day, what I normally have is I don't have Kartra calendar open. I don't care about the Kartra calendar. What I have open is the Google calendar because I can see a list of all my upcoming appointments and I, I set it in the settings. I set it to give me a reminder 15 minutes before. So when I have it open on my account, on my desktop, on my computer, I'll get a notification 15 minutes before that call. And I'll even get a notification on my phone because it's my Google calendar app. That's giving me the notification. Does that make sense? Yes. So sense. integrating it with your Google calendar is, is, is important. You want, you want to do that for sure. Cause you don't want to miss your appointments. Um, yep. And again, through, through Kartra, that lead will get a notification, but you won't. You'll only get the notification when they schedule the appointment. That's a one-time email that you'll get. Hey, John just scheduled Tuesday at 5 p.m. You'll get that one-time email, but you're not going to get a, a, an email a few minutes before 5 p.m. on Tuesday, but you will through Google. That. You know, so, so now yeah. share your screen, and let's integrate it real quick with, um, with Google. So these are like the first steps you want to do. Anyone that comes into Kartra for the very first time, this is pretty much the first thing you want to do is integrate your email and integrate Google, Google Calendar. So click on My Integrations to the left. Uh, you're breaking up. You're breaking. Click on My Integrations to the left. My Integrations, okay. And then now let's look for Google Calendar. So there's the Google Calendar right there. So now all you're going to do is click on the dots again and then New Integration. Connect Google. Yes. And go ahead and just make sure it's the right, make sure it's the same email. Um, yeah, make sure you choose the right one. Allow Grant Carter permission. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so allow. Um, so again, now, anytime someone schedules on your Kartra calendar, it will show on your Google calendar. So it'll show here also in the, in the, in the, in the agenda. But again, as you work throughout the day, have open your, your Google calendar, just have it open at the top, the, the tab, have it open. And then, and then again, download the, the Google calendar app on your phone okay. and log in with your email. Okay. Okay. So now we're good. Now we're good. We got Google Calendar integration. We got Kartra, our email updated. Now we can set up our um our 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 calendar. Okay. So now let's click on my calendars to the left. Nice. Okay. So now you click on the green one, and there's a few different ones you can choose from, depend on your business. Um, you'll just go with the first one because your business is just like like mine. I mean. We just go with the basic yes. um, that that consultant model, but there's a re recurrent class model, a gym model, and then a live event mo model. So let's just use the first one, consultant, and click on create. So my name, right? Go to name your calendar. Okay, perfect. So now you could put a logo there if you if you have one. Um, if not, you can always do one later. But this right here, it'll just and it tells you the the dimension right there, the 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 size, the two fifty by fifty. So I don't have a logo yet. I have that RM that I have, but I didn't buy a new logo like you suggested. But I'm I'm uh, actually yeah, that's fine. You. you could do that later. It's no big deal. Okay. But but um, click on go ahead, so go go ahead and click on save. Is there anything below? Scroll down, look at the whole page. What's what's below? Anything below? Okay, so click on the green one, save above. Actually, what you can do is you can change the colors right here as well. So so if you don't like that turquoise blue, you can change. I don't mind. Yeah yeah, there's different colors. But go ahead and click on save the green one, and then save and next. 
Okay, so now all we're going to do is go is take it to the right, everything. So so right here, you may create multiple classes, um, but put yes, I understand. So this is just your schedule. This is where you put your times and the days that you're available um, right here. So availability. So, so go to the top, scroll to the top. There's, there's stuff to the top. So right here, class title, class description. Um, So you could just title it, title it, um, title it, whatever. You could put description. Like I can, um, I could show so you mine. Let me, let me show you mine real quick. Let me share my screen. Let me show you what, um, just to give you an example. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so this is what I have on my title and then on my description. So you can do, you know, similar, but um, oh, yes. social. Oh, okay, nice. I have it. Um, social media strategy call. Yeah, social media strategy call. And then I don't think I. Yeah, I don't know where. I don't know why the. Um, yeah, it changed a little bit. The the layout changed a little bit. Go ahead and share your screen. So. The my title is social media strategy call, but the 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 description, I don't think it shows there anymore. But because I have on my description, I put um, social media marketing for online entrepreneurs or something like that. And it used to show, but I don't, I didn't see it there, but I just saw the title. So that's fine. So your title would go right there. Your restaurant. Your, um, strategy call me. I don't know. Marketing perfect. strategy call. Perfect. Call, call, perfect. Call. perfect. Perfect. I don't, I don't like to use word marketing anymore since I got to the screw with Facebook over there. Probably because of that work. You can use it here, though. You can use it everywhere else. But yeah, on Facebook ads, you got to be very careful with the with the with the policies. But every everywhere else, feel free to use it everywhere else. I will leave it like that. Perfect. And you can your restaurant marketing strategy call and then and then just put tips on tips on how to get more customers through social media tips on how to get more customers on social media and then one hour is what i normally leave it at and then and then the select a team member you'll hit that drop down and just choose your name Okay, click on add and then um and then just available days. What days are you available? And then and then the times to the right. So I can oh, okay, 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 okay. I see. I normally book one hour. You can you could book whatever you want, but I like I'll go 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 a.m. Like I go every hour, but you can go every whatever you want, every 15 minutes, every half hour. Normally, your calls are going to be longer than a half hour, so you'll want to go every hour. Um, all right. Perfect. And then just click add. There, there. Perfect. Okay. So now scroll down. Okay. So all that is good. And then, and then um, right here, you can, you can block out any dates or you can put, you know, a, a booking notice, a minimum booking notice. Like on mine, I put don't allow same day booking, but you can do whatever, you know, you can have no restrictions, you know, no, no booking notice. So you can kind of do whatever you want on that one. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. Yeah, For so now. go to the very top. Anytime you see the green save or green edit, anytime you see a green button, you got to always click it first. So that green button, save, hit save, or else you won't be able to continue. Okay, so save and next. And then the registration. So this is um, free and just hit save. And then um, time zone, let your user select their respected time zone, hit save, and then save and next. 
Okay, so this right here yeah. is um um when they when they finish what I do is I re redirect them to another page. So that's what I do on mine. And 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 you'll want to you'll want to do that on yours eventually. Eventually you'll want to do that on yours. As and it's really the most important when you start running Facebook ads. Like redirecting to another page. What that is is exactly what we've talked about a million times. You have a landing page and you have a thank you page. Mm -hmm. So okay. when you when you run ads, you're running ads to get people to click on it and go to your landing page and then click and then enter their name and email and then click and then go to your thank you page. That thank you page is where you can start tracking your leads. Whoever lands on the thank you page, that's a lead. That's what you set up in Facebook. Whoever yeah. lands on the thank you page is a custom audience. And then, and then whoever lands on the thank you page, that thank you page is set up as a custom conversion. So over here, it's pretty much the same. They go to your, they go to your calendar, they schedule, and then they land on your thank you for scheduling page. So that page is going to be very important and we'll set that up next time. Okay. But that page is going to be very important because in Facebook, you want to set that page up as a custom audience. And the name of that custom audience would be scheduled appointments. So now you'll be able to track in Facebook. You're not going to track name and name and phone number. You'll be able to track just the data because the pixel yeah. will be on that page and you'll be able to take that link and create a custom audience. So anyone who lands on this link is in this custom audience and that is scheduled appointments. And again, the reason why that's so important is so you can create the custom audience. And when you start running Facebook ads, you can exclude that audience because people who already scheduled an appointment with you do not need to keep seeing your ads. Yep. I understand. Right? So that's Perfect. why you'd want to redirect to another page. Um, so you can have that link and, and track it with Facebook, but right now you don't have that page and that's fine. So, um, just click on that display and click on click on save and then save and next. And then right here, email confirmation and reminder. So yes, communicate with users. And, and this right here, so that right there, that's where the email is gonna come from. So this is your booking confirmation. So click on save at the top. Remember, it's always about that green button. You gotta hit that green button. So save and then now, you have these two reminders. So your booking confirmation. So yes, send a booking confirmation. And then yes, send reminders. So click yes. And then you click the pencil. And that's where you that's where that booking confirmation email would be. So click on the pencil. No, down. Right here? Yeah. And so this is where your emails, your email is. So you'll have to just write out this email. And you can always come back to this, but you can title it. Your booking is confirmed. You can retitle that. You can um, you can re redo the text. Um, I would leave the bullet points, the event hosted by next appointment. Leave that, uh, yeah. but you can you can change everything else. But what what you can also do to the left, the dynamic variables. I always use their first name, so I'll copy that dynamic variable first name. Copy it. Where do you see that? To the left. It says first name to the left. Oh. So if you cut, no, down, right there, the parentheses. Yeah, copy that entire thing. Copy it, double click. You could just double click it. Double click it again. You need the whole thing. No, 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 no. You need the whole thing. Double click it. You need the parentheses. There you go. So you can copy that. And you can you can paste it. It would be Control V. So copy it. All right. And then to paste it, you would go. You could put it anywhere. You could put it at the top. You could put it in the email. But to paste it is Control V. So on a on a PC, it's Control V. So hit Control V, and you can paste it wherever you want. So paste it somewhere. Put con c congratulations first name. Like that's the subhead. That's the sub the sub headline or the sub subject line. You don't want to. You don't need to put it there, but put it put it anywhere else, bro. Like, congratulations, first name. You know, put it right. Yeah, put it right there. Space and control V. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. 
So congratulations, John. Your calendar booking is confirmed. So Oops, oh my God. that's the dynamic variable. I use their first name everywhere. I put it in the subject line. Thanks, John. Your booking is confirmed. Like you could play around with it. You could put it wherever the hell you want, but I use their first name a lot. Like I'll put their first name everywhere. Um, so you can redo this. And then also at the right now you're in it, you're in the basic mode. You're in basic text mode. If you go to the top and you click on advanced, so click on advanced. Now you can have, you're now in advanced mode where you can actually build out an email template. You can use a Karcher template or you can build your own. Click on design templates. This is where you can really look good. Click on full templates. So now you have all these different templates that you can use. You can click, drag it over and drop it. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Scroll down. There's all kinds of different ones. So you can build around those ones and, and, and just kind of, you know, change out the color, change out the image. You can just build around it. You know, that, that's all, all templates. But you would click and drag it over. So click anyone. Click, drag it over, and drop it. There you go. Drag it over, drop your block right there. Perfect. So now you can start building around it and you can change the color. You can change everything. You can change everything. You can X out if you don't want that part. You can X out the one, two. You can you can do whatever the hell you want. It's just a template. Okay. Okay. So, oh, it's Spanish. so um, or you could just go back to basic and leave it in basic. But but what I do do, what I do, that's why. On my when I email you, you see my image. You see, watch. Go back to my go go to my go to your Gmail. Look at my email. The Zoom in one hour. All this is is a basic template. So I have the image and I have my social media icons at the bottom. Basic. That's exactly what I'm gonna. I'm gonna anything to get. But but what I do is I save it. So once I create that, I save it. So go back to Kartra. So whatever it is at the very, very bottom. So if I go back, go back to advanced. So scroll to the very bottom, go down, 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 down. Right there, you can save as template. So once I connect all my social media icons, all I do is I get a template and I can delete everything. And that's what I do with oh. this one. Like with this one, I just simply... Um, now, you just added a photo picture. Yeah, I just grabbed one and I deleted mm -hmm. everything about it and I just left the picture and I and I and you can create your own too. Go back, hit X, X out of this, go back to it. So so go to the left. To the left, you see um um design templates, click on design templates, and then scroll down. So you can use one of Kartra's or you can go down and you can build your own. Wait, wait, you're breaking up again, you didn't hear. So you I can, can use Kartra's or you can build your own. So click on, scroll down, headlines, text, content. Yeah, scroll down right there, right there. Go lower right there. So yeah. down, down, down. Right there, you have videos, buttons, images. So click on images. And all I did is I just clicked on the image, drag it over, and drop it. That one right there, the bottom. Down, 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 down. That second one. So click, drag it over, and drop it anywhere. So I just, you know, I, I just keep it simple. I have an image. I deleted everything else. I kept the social media icons at the bottom. I connected all the social media icons to my accounts, and then I saved as a template. And then every email, I use the same damn one. That's why the emails that you get from me, it's the same shit. It's the same email all the time because it's my same template. Yep, I understand. Perfect. You know, so save it as a template and then, but, but you don't want to keep saving random templates. You want a complete one, get one done and then save that one. That's your master copy, you know? So, and then, and so hit X now go back to it and you'll find the templates or your, the ones that you save. You'll find it right here to the left. Just scroll back up right there. My templates, click on my templates, the heart. That's where you'll see it. So you'll see your template right there, and then you'll just click and drag it over, and then just rewrite or put a different image or whatever. You know, so you save those okay. ones right there. You can X out of those ones. You're not going to save those ones, but 
when you complete one yourself, save that one and use that one over and over and over. Okay, so that's going to take some time for you to do, man, the, the email, but that's your booking confirmation. Hit save. Or so, uh, yeah, at, edit the green one. And again, all every time you see a green button, hit it. And then um, hit save right there. And then you have your email reminder. The email reminder, that can come out whenever. Like I have my email reminder go out an hour before our call. But if you click on yes, send reminder, yes, send reminder. Click on the bottom, go new reminder. And then click on, um, you can set it up however you want. So I got, I, I, I go one hour before session starts. You know, you can go two hours, you can go one day, you know, whatever the hell you want. No, and then no, over no, here, not? over here, what I do is I change, you know, I change the the title, you know, event booking reminder. I, I put Zoom in one hour, you know, that's the title of mine. So you can change all this shit, bro. Like don't, you're not going to break anything. You know, nothing is is permanent. Like play around with this shit, right? Play around with it, get used to it and and learn this shit. You know, um, um, and, and, and in this case, I simply use my template again. So I'll go advanced. I'll go favorites, I'll grab my template, drag it over, and that's it. And then I'll rewrite it if I need to, you know, but I use the same template over and over and over so all my emails stay consistent. You know, so yeah. you'll wanna you'll wanna do that. So um so you'll have to you'll have to do something. So hit design templates, you have to drag something over in order to save it. Drag that over. Okay, save, and then let's get out of here real quick. So save, and then and then let's hit the green button, save. So you'll have to work on those emails. Work on those emails, save and next. And then um, and then I go ahead and put yes, allow cancellations. That's fine. I don't care if, if someone cancels. That's fine. Um, they'll see that in the email. So go ahead and hit the green one, save. And then session approval, instant approval. So if that booking, go to the top. You got to hit that green button, save. Always hit the green buttons, bro. Save and then save and next. And then um, and then right here, sync with your Google Calendar. So go to the top. So now that you integrated the calendar, that's why you want to integrate the calendar first. That's what we did. So now over here, you're going to hit change on sync with your Google Calendar. Click on change. And then hit the hit yes, sync with your Google Calendar, and you'll see your calendar right here in the drop down. Click on the drop down. There it is there. And then hit um and then and then select the calendar right there. Click the drop down. Okay, so hit save and then assign tags. You don't really need a tag right now, but subscribe to a list. So click change on the list. Anyone who schedules an appointment on your Karcher calendar goes on their own list. No, don't just put no for now. You don't have a tag. Put no. Hit save and then go subscribe to list. So hit change on subscribe to list. And then create a list if you don't have one already. So yes, subscribe to a list. And then hit, um, yeah, so just go ahead and create a list. Create a list. Create a list. Where do you see? Get out of there. Get out of there, bro. Get out of there. Right there below it. Create a list. Right there. So call this one scheduled appointments. Okay, now the public description, you'll you'll see that on every every time you set up a list. The public description is what that lead sees if they ever unsubscribe. So if they ever unsubscribe or if they ever have to update their email, they'll they'll see this description. And this description is something brief. It just reminds them of what list they're on. So right here you can just put something like thank you for scheduling your appointment with Royal Media. Thank you for scheduling your appointment or thank you for scheduling a, an appointment. Thank you for scheduling. A, yeah, thank you for thank you for scheduling. Without A or with. Yeah, yeah, without. Thank you for scheduling 
your appointment with Royal Media? Is it one P or two P? A two piece. Royal Media. Perfect. Okay, so now click on add and then save. Perfect. And then and then that's it, man. Save and next. You don't need any of the sequence right now. Advanced, you don't need that right now. Save and next. And that's it, bro. So now you hit Karcher hosted page. And this is going to be your link. So go ahead and customize the back end of that link. And remember, on all your pages, even the calendar, you always want to edit and customize the back part of that link. So you can um, – it, well, already has, it already has forward slash calendar. You could just put forward slash – appointments or forward slash book now or schedule now or whatever and you can always change it man you can always change all this stuff bro none of it again is permanent you can change all of it anytime anytime anything like all the time links pages colors all that shit like don't worry about something being permanent you know so so that right there so now double click it open it up in a new tab and and take a look at it real quick so here is your new calendar. Once you add your logo, like, you know, it'll look, it'll look a little bit more, you know, at the top. And once you add your picture, that has to be your picture, bro. Like, oh, don't nice. put some, yes. so Don't great. put some random ass logo right there in the, in the profile image. Like that has to be your face right there. You know, so that's your calendar. So here's what I did. Here's what I did. I went to GoDaddy. I simply got a, a domain. Watch, go to, go to Google real quick. Let me show you something real quick. Go to Google. And then go to, um, yeah, right here, type in cheap domains, cheap, C-H-E-A-P, cheap domains, two words. And right here at the top, you'll see, you should see a coupon for 99 cents right there at the top, right there. Okay, right there. 99 cents GoDaddy, right there. Do you have a GoDaddy account? No. Okay, perfect. So then you'd qualify for this. So what I did, this is just what I did. You don't have to do it, but this is just what I did. I got a, a link, Zoom with David, right? Zoomwithdavid.com. And, and when someone goes to that link, it forwards to my Karcher calendar. So now if I ever want to give that link to anybody, now again, what I mentioned in the beginning of our call is I, I, asked, the, I asked the prospect, what is your email and best time tomorrow? I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. So I'm not normally sending people to my calendar just randomly. Yes. I'm saying. telling them, hey, give me your email and I'm going to do it. Like I'll go to my calendar, I'll book it, and I'll just send you an email. So what's your email right. and what's your best time tomorrow? And I, I book it, right? But sometimes well, now as people, a lot of people now hit me up on social media, what I do now is I just send them my link. They want to schedule the call with me. And if I'm not really, because again, when I'm going out prospecting, like when you go out prospect, like I prospect on online, when I'm prospecting, I'm actually trying to get the appointment, right? Because I'm going after like you, you're going to go out and you're going to go after the people. Yep. So I, uh, I should so when have I'm, this. So, so when I'm going after the people, when I'm prospecting and I'm going after the people, I'm asking for your name. I'm asking for your email and your best time because I'm going to go and book it. But now I have people online hitting me up, right? They're coming to me. That's a different approach. I'm having people hit me up on YouTube. I'm having people hit me up on Instagram. They're asking for my time. They're coming to me. So what I do in that case, a lot of the times what I do now is I just send them my link because they're coming to me now. So I'm not I'm not in a hurry to book the appointment cuz they're coming to me. I already know they want me. They need my they want me to help them with something. They're coming to me. So what I do a lot of times with that is I just send them my link. I say, "Hey man, go to my go to go to my link and book a call. zoomwithdavid.com." 
So Alrighty. giving it, giving them that domain, that .com is better than giving them that long, ugly Karcher link. So, you know what I mean? Yep. So, so, so if I were you, I would, I would get a domain right here and I would get, you know, zoom call, zoom call, zoom with me or something, right. Or with your name, like yes. you, you can get creative and you can get it for a buck. You can get it for a dollar, a dollar for the first year. And then after that, it's the normal, I think it's like 14 bucks a year or something like that. The normal domain. Yeah, yeah I'll get it a hundred percent. So basically let's say if I, if I, if I'm, if I ask you, okay, what's your email and uh, the best time. Yes. So, so now right. you're going to, you're going to go to your calendar and you're going to book that, you're going to book that call and, and, and you're going to put in their name. So go to your calendar. You're going to simply book it. You're going to go in and, 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 and they said, you know, tomorrow, no, go to no, your no, departure if, calendar. Want to send him, okay. Okay. If I, uh, so you can book it. Cartridge calendar, bro. You're not going to book anything through Google. You don't, you don't touch Google. You don't touch Google. Everything goes through Kartra. And it's added to Google. So, so me, don't worry about it? Yeah, so now go to your Karcher calendar. You opened it up. It's the tab at the top. No, bro, you're in the settings. Go to the calendar. Go to the, the tab at the top, to the right. What? Yeah. Right here. No, bro, the tab at the top. You already opened it. The calendar is live. It's open in the tab right there. Yeah, to the left. Click on your name right there to the left, the Karcher one. Right there, bro. That's your calendar. Bookmark that shit. Bookmark it. Save this calendar. This is everything goes through your Karcher calendar. Name it, bro. See, so you got you're 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 bookmarking shit and you're not even paying attention to what you're doing. Click it again, rename it. Like rename it. My Karcher calendar. You know, and, and put it in the right folder, you know, so you know where the hell it's at, either in the bookmarks bar or put it in a folder. Like, start categorizing all these bookmarks. Like, my Karcher calendar. Perfect. That way you can get to it right away. But see, again, if you do give out your calendar to people, that's the link you're giving them. That long-ass ugly link, right? I'd rather give them zoomwithdavid.com and they go straight here. Right. So getting that 99 cent domain is not a bad idea. Um, yeah, but when you come over here, you book 10 o'clock or, or book, you know, December 10, December 10 at, at, at do do 9 a.m. December 10. Click on that and then boom, click 9 a.m. or whatever time. Next. And this is where you put in their name and email. So, again, they gave me their name and email. I'm doing this part for them. I'm going to my calendar. I'm booking that. Go ahead and put in your email. Yeah, put in your email. Perfect. And then hit next. And then that's it. So congratulations. And then this right here, this is what you want to edit as well. So so go back to the Karcher calendar real quick. This right here is what you want to edit. Um, so so you would have got an email. So so what you got an email that a lead just booked an appointment. So go to your Google, go to your Gmail. Check that notification real quick. So you got an email. Delete this one. You don't need that one. Just, yeah, get rid of all this. So so check your inbox right there. New calendar booking. So you're going to get a notification right when someone books an appointment. But that's the only time you're going to get that notification, right? That's why we use Google. Because the Gmail, the Google is going to give me a notification when that appointment comes up. 15 minutes before or 10 minutes before or whatever. You know, so, so uh -huh. you got this one. And then your Yahoo account. Check that one. That's the booking confirmation email that just went out. Okay, I'll check that. All right. Okay, so 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 that Yahoo one. So now what you want to do real quick is go back to Kartra, go back to Kartra, and you want to edit that confirmation part. So click on the three dots to the right, three. the calendar. Okay. Right there underneath the calendar. That yeah, right there. Edit. And just hit save and next, save and next, save and next. You're gonna go back. You're gonna go all the way to the to the um to the end. So hit edit, and then go um save and next, save and next. We want to go to the next one. Registration, save and next. It's a success. So right here, hit the oh. change. So um, that right there, success confirmation message. Hit change. So scroll down. 
that's this part right here. So down, 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 all that. So go back to your calendar. Look at your calendar. That's how it looks. Yeah. Yeah. So so you want to you want to edit all that stuff. So write something and you do it at the very top. So you can you can add a button. You can um you can put whatever you can you can even put your Zoom link right there. But not really. You want to tell them, hey, I just emailed you your Zoom link. You know, you can tell them whatever you want, but. There's the headline, there's the sub headline message, and then there's the email. Um, and again, I just emailed you. Yeah, I just emailed you your Zoom link. Looking forward to speaking with you. I just emailed you the link to our to our Zoom call coming up. I look forward to speaking with you. Something like that. That you could play around oh, with wow. this later. Oh, play. All right. Yeah, All play right. around cool. with that later. But but always hit the green button at the top, save, and then and then save and save a next save a next save a next save a next so all right we'll do that don't leave it idling like this like always go back to the green button save because who knows when you're going to come back so so make sure you just hit save i'll come back as soon as we finish actually Jai. i want to write email i don't want to exit because i i might not be okay able perfect. to come back actually. perfect so so that's how you integrate your email that's how you integrate your Google calendar. And that's how you set up your count, your actual calendar. And I use my calendar for everything, bro. Every appointment, anyone that wants to talk to me, they go through my Karcher calendar. And then again, now you have the email list. So, so that list is going to start building. Everyone who schedules an appointment is going to land on that list. And that's super important as well, as well, because now in the future, if you want to send an email to everyone who has ever scheduled an appointment with you, now you can email everyone on that list. So but where do I and how do I? Okay, go ahead. How do you what? How do I uh, get Zoom link to the to my email? Like when I send them the email, you have to go to Zoom. You have to set up a, a Zoom link, and then you and then you hyperlink the word, like I showed you. Okay. All right. All right. I get it. So, okay. and and are you registered for the Tuesday and Thursday calls, bro? No. Get, you, you have to. You have to. Let me. Um, let me share. Let me actually. No, I don't need to share. But let me just. Um, let me just get this link for you real quick. You have to register for these, bro. These are calls that happen every Tuesday and Thursday at four p.m. Eastern, and you want to make sure you jump on these calls because this is how you're gonna learn Karcher, man. You can only learn so much from me. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta jump on these calls, and you have to start learning this stuff. Because I tell people all the time, it's Facebook ads and Kartra. That's all you need, bro, to build a six, seven, eight-figure business online. That's all anyone needs, any small business owner. Facebook ads, Kartra. That's it. So you have to take the time to invest in this software and learn the shit. Like, and you can only learn so much from me. You know, so so make sure you're registered. Click on that link that I just sent you register for both days tuesday and thursday if you cannot make it live they they send you the replay so so always make sure you're on those calls and then also go to um click on click on that at the very top right you want to make sure you put your profile picture in there you don't have to do it now but make sure you put your profile picture up, up there in the top right but to the left to the left to the left of that profile picture you see that little hat that little hat, that graduation hat looking thing to the left right there. Yep. Click on that. Back here also, and see, that's why I always want you to save. Hit the green button. You got to always hit that green button, bro. Never let shit oh. idling. Because see what happened? You just clicked out of it. You know? Yeah. So so never leave shit idling like that. Even if you think you're going to go back to it, you're not going to go back to it right now. And that's what happened. You just ended up clicking out of it. So you, you would have lost anything that you wrote. You know what I mean? If you typed out shit, you would have lost it all. So all, never leave shit idling on a page or in an email. Always get out of it and come back to it later if, if you need to. But right here, the Q&A call replays. You can also watch the replay right here. But I always I always recommend getting on it live, man. If you can get on it live, because that's where you can ask questions. It's Karcher support. Watch, click on it, Q&A calls, Q&A call replay, replays right there. Click on that. Q&A call replay right there to the right to the right q a call replace i don't see right there bro at the oh, top okay. q a call uh, above right there right there right there right there so click on any one of them it's Kartra support they come on live they do screen share they answer everyone's question 
So you can come on. This is this is the freaking these people are the smartest people in the world, man. This is Karcher support. So it's a live Q&A. You come with any question. How do I set up my calendar? How do I set up my email? How do I do this? They answer it right there on the spot live. And so they go for an hour every Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. So that's a very, very important call. That's where I learned all this shit, bro. You, uh, don't think I know I'm smart and I know about websites. I don't know about none of this shit, but I jumped on these calls every damn, every damn Tuesday and Thursday for the past two years. That's how I know this shit. Yeah. So, all right. so get on these calls and ask questions and, and these people will, and even if you don't have a question, even if you don't have a question, you'll learn so much from everybody else's question. Because that's all they do. They don't have. They don't come to the call with preparation to teach anything. They simply come on to answer questions. So people are asking questions, and you just sit back and listen to everybody's question. And those questions are your questions. So you end up learning learning a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? So that Q and A call is the most important, man. You have to jump on those calls. Okay. So right. so all register. Right, I sent you the link. Click on the link real quick before we exit on the, in the chat. Click on that link and 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 register. Actually, you can click it right there. You can all you can also click right there. Click on the Q and A Tuesday and Thursday. Click on that um, that picture to the right on the bottom. Q and A Tuesday and Thursday. The image of the chalkboard. Click on oh, that. Okay. Yeah, click on that, and then it takes you to the registration. Perfect. So register right here, man, and then um and then and then. That's how you want to do it with the calendar. So that's how you want to do it with, with scheduling the appointment is the calendar. So if you need to run an ad, like, let's do that. We'll have to do it tomorrow. Where you're breaking up. Yeah, if, you wanna, if, if you want to run, run an ad, ad, we'll have to do it tomorrow. Okay. All right. Okay. But that's your calendar. And then just register for the Q and A's and let's chat tomorrow. Again, breaking up. Let's chat tomorrow. All right. All right. We'll do it tomorrow. Okay, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Thanks.